There are so many different areas of blogging and things that you need to do when you start a blog. And there are different ways to get traffic to your blog. So obviously we have Pinterest, which I talk so much about on my YouTube channel. Um, that's what most of my content is about, is just my Pinterest and my strategy for getting traffic to my website. You guys also know that I like to use TikTok to get traffic to my blog as well. My TikTok has over 130,000 followers on it and I get so many, like at least a thousand different page views every day from my TikTok. And it's about the same from Pinterest. There's also Google traffic that you can use, but the most beneficial way to get traffic to your blog is by starting an email list. An email list is so important for blogging. It's important for any business, to be honest, because you want a dedicated audience that you can nurture and be able to have their email to be able to provide promotions for them, nurture them, educate them, um, and just provide value. But it's a lot more personal when you have them on an email list. And I just want to talk a little bit about different email lists and how I grew mine. So when I first started my blog, uh, I'm just going to show you my whole outline of everything. So you can see my total amount of subscribers um, is about 13,000. And I started this email list in April. And so I think that's pretty good for less than a year um, with this blog and everything and being able to grow an email list um, of over 13,000 in such a short time. And so um, I just wanted to go in a little bit of what my strategies were to grow my email list. So I use Flowdesk, uh, that is my main email provider. And the reason why I chose Flowdesk is because there is only one monthly fee for that for a month. And it doesn't matter how many subscribers you have, it stays the exact same, which I appreciate. I don't have a bunch of automations and things, but I do know that Flowdesk has the option to create those workflows. And so if I ever need that, then I have that option there. Of course, there's more comprehensive ones. With some of my other clients, I've worked with ConvertKit, I've worked with ActiveCampaign, I've worked with MailChimp. And for me personally, for my small little business, Flowdesk is the only thing that I need. I don't need anything more than that. Active Campaign, in my opinion, is way overpriced. MailChimp is pretty good and it's probably like the standard, I would say. It is what most people think of when they think of email lists. Um, now I do think ConvertKit is becoming way more mainstream, but if you are starting a new blog, and you are looking for an email subscriber, an email service, then ConvertKit actually does have, it does have the availability of being free up to 10,000 subscribers. So it's a great way to start, but then it starts getting pretty expensive. This is pretty much double what I pay for my, this is double what I pay a month using Flowdesk. So, Personally, that's what I stick with, but if you have a huge email list, this might be worth it for you. So I stick with Flowdesk and what you need to know in order to get an email list is you need to offer something for somebody to be able to want to be on your email list. It's not enough to just have on your website something that says subscribe to my newsletter because why would anyone do that? <laughs> There's no reason for it. So instead, I recommend having an opt-in. Now you could do it in a pop-up form. Personally, um, when I go onto a website and they have a pop-up, I just automatically close it. It's uh, not something that I even usually read. And so it becomes pretty useless after that because people just close it right after. So instead, what I've done in my biggest tip is to have your lead magnet with your opt-in right in your website right as they scroll. So this will be on every single web page and it's my bit list of 25 plus remote job boards that people can use to find remote jobs. 
And it's pretty simple. It's passive enough that people can just scroll past it if they're not interested in it, but it's there and it's helpful so that if people are interested in it, they'll get the freebie and they'll be on my remote job list. And I also put the tagline here, which is sign up with your email address and receive weekly remote jobs. So I have a mail list that I sent out. I send out every single week a list of remote jobs that are available for people who are only subscribed to my email list. So there's an opt-in, there's sort of an exclusivity there, and it's how people provide, it's how people get value from being on my email list. So if you are thinking about doing an email list, you should have a lead magnet, a free opt-in, some sort that you can offer for people so that they actually will want to be on your list. And then from there, your emails need to provide value for people. So mine is so easy because it's offering people weekly remote jobs that only they can reply apply to because they're on my email list. But let's say you are in the food niche and you are starting an email list for that. If that is what you're doing, I would recommend that you have some sort of free recipe opt-in. And then from there, you provide value with weekly, monthly emails for exclusive recipes for those people. Because at the end of the day, your email list needs to be value. You need to provide value for them. And an email list is a great way to continue to get traffic from your website as well. So you can see here, for the longest time, I just had what was, if you have grow, um, or you're part of journey, you can have these forms on your website. So they have pop-up options and what it can do is it can collect the emails for you. And I had this set up for a while and I was getting somewhat good traffic from it. But then again, like I said, pop-ups don't always work. I prefer having the content embedded directly in blog posts. And so that's the way that it's been working for me. So if you don't have the ability to make these opt-ins, uh, because this is what I created using Flowdesk, this is a, something that I embedded with code with Flowdesk. Now you could create other opt-ins with something called Ninja Forms. You could create an opt-in with that and that's how you can do it. Obviously I think it's better to do it directly with your email provider because then there's no, it's just easier. But I just wanted to show you in my analytics here. So these four or five months, I was just using Grow's opt-in banner to get traffic on all of these months. And it wasn't bad. In the first month, it was gonna be the highest just because I was first launching my blog and getting a bunch of traffic. And so uh, we had 16,000 the first month and it was also, emails that I had already collected um, from having my TikTok live in December of 2023. So this number is actually from like three months. So it looks bigger than it is. But then after that, I was getting around five to 800 subscribers every month. Then I added this opt-in here, which is on all of my blog posts. So it has my lead magnet, and then it also has the ability to opt in for free jobs. And this is how it changed. I have 14,000 just in half of a month of people opting in to my list. Then it goes to almost 2,000. Then we're at 2,300, 1,800. And January and February is always gonna be slower just because that those are not big months, but still 1,400. Uh, so far this month, 588, and I've been posting a lot less uh, this past, past month, so I'm not mad at that at all. But that little trick has helped grow my email list so much. And so now I'm over 13,000 emails of people opting into my email list, and it means that I get to nurture them and 
I get to possibly sell products to them. I get to have them lead back to my website and make money with display ads. I can show them things, products, and tips that I recommend and make money with affiliate if that's the case. But it's very important to grow an email list, especially if you're a blogger, a small business, or whatever it is, because it's the way that you are going to build an audience that actually cares about you. And so I hope that that was helpful. I'll continue to make videos on Pinterest and all of that, but I just think that these are the important things that have to do with blogging that people don't always talk about. And hopefully that is helpful and I hope that you can start building your email list so that you can start nurturing your audience as well. If you like this video, make sure you like it. If you are looking for more blogging and Pinterest tips, you can check out the other videos I have posted on it and make sure you subscribe so that you stay tuned for more Pinterest and blogging videos.